Jazz Cartier, Jacuzzi LaFleur, that's me. Hotel Paranoia, out. Y'all can go check it out. Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop for always showing me love. I kind of came up with it like while I was doing Morani Paradise, but then like afterwards it kind of made sense because I was like touring and stuff and going to all these places and I was in these hotels and it's like, you know, like people don't see like the like downside of touring, right? Like they see like, it may look cool, but like you're traveling like an X amount of hours to go to a place to, to perform for like 45 minutes and then it's over. So you only seen like like the night of it. So like that's where like the hotel paranoia theme came from. But the concept is like an extension of like Marauding in Paradise, you know? So like Paradise, people think it's like a lux like a luxurious place. But with Paradise comes paranoia in my head. So yeah, that's where it all came from. No, I don't think I like I've like found my sound for sure. I'm I'm like still at a point now where um you know, I'm still I'm still young, I'm I'm still growing, you know. But I think with uh, Hotel Paranoia, you know, <laughs> I wasn't playing around. Niggas know shit is fucking real. And those records ring off when it gets played live, you feel me? Every song was made, like, like we, like, started it, like, that day of, like, me and him. Like, I had an idea in my head. He had an idea in his head. And we'd meet, like, a common ground. And um, he, has, he has a flavor to him that, like, I feel like I can't find it with anybody else, you know, like, people hit me up for, for like, beats, beats all the time, and it's not that I'm opposed to it, it's just because, like, with Paradise and Paranoia, I wanted Lance and I to establish ourselves as, like, artists ourselves, so, like, that's why it's not, like, feature-heavy, you know, like, the only feature is River Tiber, because, like, you know, he's a fucking beast, and, you know, that's a great song, but aside from that, it's just, like, I wanted to keep it, me and Lance, and, like, make sure, like, people know that like, Lance is not someone to sleep on, you know? I mean, like, people say, like, the music's dark, but, like, that's just like a Toronto thing, man. Like, if you've ever endured a Toronto winter, then like, you know how fucking depressing it gets. So like, it puts you in like a weird state. Like for me, I don't really hear anything dark about it, but I can kind of get where people, you know, get that like horror vibe. Am I a dark person? Is it? The new thing now is just like, I'm just getting more, like recognized more, man. Like I'm out here in South Southwest. I'm getting stopped, I'm getting, I'm like taking photos of people and shit, you know, it's, it's like, it's sick, you know, like that's, that, that's like what I, I would have thought would happen in like five years, not now, you know, but, but it's, it's like, it's, it's like a rapid growth, but I'm all about incremental gains, so, you know, <laughs> start off slow and build a, you know, a lasting empire. I got so much shit in the stash, I think, um, I got a record with like Mike Will coming out, I think I got two of them coming out in like April. Um, that's an exclusive. Next project, I started it in my head, but this nigga Lance is, is the worst person to work with because I gotta work around his fucking schedule. But yeah, I got the ideas in my head. I got a title in my head. Um, but for the for the remainder of the year, <clears throat> for the remainder of the year, I'm gonna be doing singles. I'm gonna be doing a lot of singles. A lot of shit's gonna be dropping. Um, I got a video for Red Alert coming out. But yeah, man, like this year's gonna be good. A lot of collabs coming out, man. I'm just happy to be alive. I'm just happy that people like my music. I'm happy that you guys are interviewing me right now. I'm just, I'm just a happy guy. <laughs>